Greetings, Daniel Persuado for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and today we're talking about a secondary view in Photoshop. In CS6, we introduced the secondary view, and it's right here, this extra screen here, that allows you to see your 3D layer from a different camera angle than what is currently on your canvas. In this case, I have a default view on my canvas, and I have a front view and my secondary view. I could change this to right, left, you can all these different choices and what they do is they help you kind of see how and where your object is in associated in association with another object perhaps you want to move them together you can't quite get to see the visual on the canvas it's not very clear it's really helpful for example let's see if I go to the front view when I have this object selected and I'm moving it around and perhaps I think I'm moving it back but actually I'm moving it up there are these times, you know, when you're first getting into 3D, you may just misinterpret some of these things, and you're like, oh, I thought I was moving it one way, but oh, look, my secondary view is showing me that I'm moving it elsewhere. It's very handy for just getting those delicate operations. Say I want to have both his feet touch the ground, play. The other one's a little bit under. I'm okay with that. Maybe I want to rotate it a little bit forward, backward, or forward. There we go. It's great to have for manipulating split text, just multiple objects in general secondary view so let's have another look at this window you could close it choose different cameras you can swap views for example this is very handy for adjusting items you might manipulate it move it over here swap back over here and you could perhaps want to do things in orthographic views which is what these generally are in the secondary view here one of the most useful features is the swap views button. Just remember that. It's awesome. Anyway, that's all. Comments, questions, post them on my YouTube channel. Thanks.